All right, guys, I'm back to continue my playthrough of the Division 2. So right now we are actually doing a liberation mission. You can see it right here. It's the Constitution Hall liberation. We've already resupplied a control point earlier, and I've done a few activities. But our main thing is we need to get these, these uh, SHD coins. This one right here, I've ran around for about five minutes and I can't seem to figure out how to get through this gate here to get to it. I ran around the building three times and I just saw this bridge up here. So I think I need to actually go into this building and go across that bridge to grab that coin. So let's see if we can get up there. Okay, there's another bridge. These coins are definitely becoming a lot trickier to get to the farther we get into the game. Holy crap, I didn't even see those guys. That was close. Good thing they didn't blow up these gas cans right here. Okay, oh, nice weapon case. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Alright, so I think this is going to be the correct direction. Alright, go across this bridge. Okay, so we can't go up any further, so we have to go downstairs. I'd like to get these liberation missions done as quickly as possible. Just so we can focus on the main missions. Okay, so we can't go that way, so I guess we do have to go up top. Here we go. Alright, go ahead and hop out here. Go to the next one. Okay, it should be right down here. Oh, nice, another weapon case. Oh, nice. Now, I know a lot of people online don't like the SOCOM M1A. They say it's underpowered compared to some of the other semi-autos, but I actually like the, the SOCOM. So let's go ahead and equip those. Grab that. I like the SOCOM more than the MK17. It just it even though it holds half as much ammo, it just feels a lot more solid. Alright, let's equip that. Go ahead and throw those upgrades on it. Okay, I don't have a magazine for it, apparently. I'll have to uh, create one next time I'm at the White House. Alright, let's move on to that next coin. Head down south there. I'm just gonna run past those guys. I think they're just random 
enemies that are just running around out here. Okay, so it's showing this coin's underneath somewhere here. Now, how would I get underground? Oh, here we go. When in doubt, just follow the GPS. This one's way underground. Oh, it's actually up there. Hyena's key. I'm not quite sure what to use that for. Incendiary rounds. Ah, there it is. How do I get to that? That is just odd. Oh, there we go. Just gotta shoot that lock. Go ahead and equip some of that armor I got. What is that one? Badger Tough. Alright, got a new backpack. Let's stick with the Badger Tough stuff. See if we can get a full set going on. Bonus armor. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that one. That extra health is amazing. And we'll go with the Providence Defense. Okay, and that's gonna actually complete our Badger Tough set. So let's go ahead and equip that. And we are so close to having a full set of Providence. 2.4k.
Okay, we just need one more provenance item, and then we can have two complete sets of armor. I read that the MP7's actually a really good submachine gun. I might try that out. I haven't really used submachine guns in this game. Okay, so I don't want to run all the way back out of here. So let's just uh, fast travel to the safe house. And we can go down and hit that control point and get those other coins. Then we should be able to do the bounty boss of this area. Uh, check out my inventory. Okay, I'm pretty full, so let's throw some stuff in the stash. We'll just uh, throw a bunch of weapons in there. So we need to head south. So let's uh let's actually grab those coins first as we go. Well, was there one up top here? Okay, we can grab that one last. Got this explosive ammo in my rifle. Oh wow, that control point, I think it's underground there. Oh, maybe not. It's over there. Well, we're right here, so we might as well do it. Call the allies in. Oh man, there's a patrol coming too. Reinforcements incoming. That patrol's gonna screw us all up. Where are the reinforcements at? Yeah, we're gonna have to play it safe here. Much closer. Attack! Get away! That explosive ammo just shreds them.
Gotta stick with my allies. I mean, yeah, it sucks having only a 10 round clip, but it, this just seems way more accurate. Kill that damn car. Who's with that? I'm gonna just run up here and see if I can take this guy out. Give me this machine gun. Alright, shit got real now. that guy. He just burned himself. Alright, that was pretty easy. Most of these, where you can uh, get the machine gun, the mounted gun, are pretty damn easy once you take out the first leader. Oh, nice, a level. We've only got nine more levels. Okay, so I got another field proficiency thing, and 
I'm just going to keep it for now because you can hold 10 of them and there's a skill at level 30 that gives you a 50% chance of getting a, a another item in your field proficiency things. So I kind of want to save up 10 of them for when I hit level 30. Grab that. What was that? A oh, sniper rifle? Not a big fan of sniper rifles in this game. Any weapon things? Alright, let's equip some of that stuff. You know what, I'm just going to stick with that one. Like I mentioned before, the health is really good on that. Okay, I have my whole Providence set. Oh, I kind of need to... I actually need to equip these so I can get that armor on kill. That's been helping me out a whole bunch. Alright, let's get out of here. Do I need ammo? No, I'm good to go. Alright, so let's keep going towards that coin there. I think that's the last thing I need before I do the boss in this area. Not sure why there was just some random enemy there. So this one's up top here. Probably gonna have to go into one of these buildings. Now, how would I get up there? Oh man. Maybe if I walk up that crane? Can I hop over this? Oh, nice. Serious oh, man. Can't move. I need some cover. It's kind of an awkward situation I'm in because there's two groups of enemies attacking me. Oh man, it was this guy. Oh, 
Sergeant Edwards. Not even sure who that guy was. It's getting intense over here. See if we can get out of here. That was just a really bad situation I was in. Okay, so I have to get up to that ramp right there. Somehow. I just, I think maybe I can climb up this crane. No, maybe not. Maybe I have to get up the ramp over here. Oh, once again, these guys are ambushing me. Okay, so we can't go up there. Might be able to hop up here. Nope. I mean, I'm seeing all these spots there where it looks like you can hop up. But I just can't get up to this main spot. Alright guys, I actually had to look up how to get to this SHD thing. So it said run north until I see a hot dog cart. And then apparently you hop up on top of the hot dog cart to get up top there. So let's just run down here and see if we can find it. Okay, I think this might be it. 
Yeah, these coins are getting really tough to get to. I think this is the last one we need, and then we can go fight the bounty boss here. So we got that. And let's see where that boss is at. Okay, let's, uh, we're really close to this one. So let's see if we can just grab that real quick. Just because these bosses usually don't take very long to beat. Showing it's right Detected over here. From the control point in proximity. I think we should probably find some stairs here that will lead to that area. Finding all sorts of loot. Any gun cases? Nice. Might have to give that rifle a try. Friendly supply on fight in proximity. Okay, so it's shown this SHD thing is somewhere around here. Alright, we have to hop out here, it looks like. Nice, we got it. Okay, now let's fast travel up to here. Grab that last one, and then we can go fight that boss. Yeah, there's been, I think, three of the SHD things here that have been really tough to get to. I might actually do some YouTube videos in the future of how to actually get to some of these. Let's, uh, let's equip that weapon we just got. Oh wow, that's an orange weapon. Equip that, throw some mods on it. Okay, apparently it can't use a barrel mod, but that's fine.
All right, that last coin should just be right up here. I wonder what the the strongest color weapon is in this game. If I recall correctly, in the first division, I think the weapons were turquoise that were really good. Okay, this one's just lying on the ground here. That's easy to grab. Go ahead and grab some of this loot. fast travel up to here. Okay, we should be able to kill this boss pretty quick with the guns I have. Target near you. even hop up there. Might be able to pull my allies here into the fighting, which would make it a little, little quicker. And one thing some people might not know is you don't always have to stop when you loot stuff. If you're just looting components, then you could just run by and loot them without stopping. Alright, let's move up here. So it looks like it's mainly just the boss here. I'm not seeing too many enemies. forward. that 
the match. That is weird. It's showing they're kind of underground, I guess. I think we just have to keep going this way. Got some allies down here. Quite sure how to get to them. Detected from the control point in proximity. Bounty failed. Well, I guess I failed that one, guys. I didn't even know you can fail. I couldn't seem to find that guy. So that's going to be it for this video. Next one, we are going to go down here and do this side mission. And then maybe I'll see if there's some way I can redo that bounty. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more of The Division 2. Alright guys, so I just failed the bounty and I found out how to restart it. Uh, I failed it because I couldn't find the bounty target and I don't know if I ran out of time or I just ran out of the zone I was supposed to fight them in, but I just uh, reactivated it. You can go to the bounties tab in your map and reactivate a bounty that you fail so let's head towards that and I should be able to do it now I didn't know you can actually fail the bounties and I, I had no clue there was a timer to do them So it spawned the bounty in in a different location now, so I shouldn't have that much trouble finding them. Okay, so it should be right up here. I mean, I'm not too worried about the difficulty of the bounty. It's just actually finding them. Okay, it looks like that might be the target. Man, this is one of those sledgehammer guys. Oh man, the game just froze. Shit's getting real. Let's see if my allies will help me. Come on, allies. never had the game freeze like that before. Okay, so that wasn't even the boss I was trying to kill.
Okay, it's showing the matches over here somewhere. Maybe it's up top. I mean, I'm not seeing any any additional enemies over here. Okay, now it's showing that I need to go this way. Okay, so I opened up this door here. Oh, that guy got nuked. Looks like the boss is up here. Let's grab some ammo. Yeah, this was just a really odd bounty mission so far. go through here. There they are.
So I'm probably going to have to make this into a two-parter video just because it took me quite a while to find this boss. One bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. Let's grab all those items. Got an outcast key. It's really confusing on what you can jump up on top of and what you can't. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I know it ran a bit long. I'm probably going to break it up into two videos. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more of The Division 2.